going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you five tricks that are easier on mini ramp switch than regular all right trick number one is going to be the switch rock okay so the reason the switch rock to regular is much easier than a regular rock to fakie is because when you do a switch rock you're coming in forward right so you're able to look forward and you're coming in in your regular stance when you do a rock fakie yeah like you're, you're riding up your normal stance and it's easy to get into it but then the ramp is completely backwards to you, right? And then you're coming down backwards, so it's just very easy to slip out and not really know what you're doing. Also with a switch rock, a lot of people tend to just hang up their truck like this and just press on the nose and able to just roll in without actually like lifting the board up. But with a rock fakie, you tend to always press on the tail and get these front wheels over, which makes it easier to slip out. Okay, next up is gonna be the switch backside pivot to regular. All right guys, so the switch pivot is one of my favorite mini ramp tricks. I do this all the time and you know, I can regular pivot to fakie, but I had to put in a lot of work at that trick just to get it comfortably. This one always felt natural and it's for the same reason as the rock to fakie. It's that when you switch, your body is facing the ramp, right? When you're, when you're skating and doing a trick to fakie, your shoulders don't open up in the same way. You're always looking back at the ramp. So things are just gonna naturally be much more scary. All right, so when I do the switch pivot, I'm just pressing on this heel, locking in on the one wheel there. And then from here, it really just feels like a nose manual, right? Just pressing on the nose, rolling it in, just getting that back wheel passed. So I've always felt comfortable doing this trick rather than a pivot to fakie. And for trick number three, we have the switch blunt stall. Okay, so for this trick, I mean, a lot of these are gonna have the same reason behind them, right? It's that you're facing forward and looking into the ramp, but with a switch blunt, you're completely on top of the ramp, right? Right before you pop into the blunt. And to me, I think about this as doing a little nose manual off a curb. I'm getting that little, like little nolly motion in. Now. I don't know about you guys, but I was always much more comfortable with a regular nose manual. I didn't really get good at fakie manuals till like much later on in skating. So thinking about, you know, doing like a little fakie ollie off a curb, much more difficult, harder to keep straight for me. So, you know, it is a regular ollie, so you should have some more control. But for me, it's just that like looking right into the ramp and knowing exactly where you are just makes it so much easier. Okay, next up we got the switch front side rock and roll. So you might not expect this one, right? But a lot of people just are very comfortable with doing a backside power slide. It's probably like, what, it's just very easy to rotate that around, right? For me, when I was learning flat ground, I just practiced backside 180s, landing halfway on the ground and then sliding the rest, right? So for me, that was one of the first sliding motions I ever learned. So that has just carried over in my skating to where anything backside feels comfortable. So now switch, it's more a switch front side, but you're technically doing that same backside motion. So when you hang up your truck and get into the rock and roll and you press on the nose, once you get these wheels up, you're really just doing that little backside power slide motion. And when you do a regular front side rock, it's like, just so much harder to get those shoulders to come around. It takes a lot more to like open up and do all these weird techniques to get it around. But with switch, it feels like you don't really have to do that. Like you can get in with your shoulders square and still somehow just rotate it front side. So for me, that one's much easier. Okay, and the last trick is gonna be a switch front side blunt stall. All right, so you might be saying to yourself, like this doesn't make sense. The switch front blunt can't be easier. Like you're landing switch into the ramp. But I don't know, for me, and I can only speak to me personally, when I do the switch front blunt, it's that same backside motion that makes me feel comfortable. And I've seen this with a lot of people. You know, if you could pop it in just a little bit and get it like right here, you're able to just slide it around and pull it in and have more control over it. And also, sometimes people just have that um, ability to snap the nose off a little better from a switch blunt and get that 180 like whip the leg around to even do the full rotation if that's the way you're gonna do it. But the main thing to think about with all these tricks is it's not about the trick itself being easier to switch, it's how each person skates. Like some tricks will be easier for you, 
and some tricks will be harder for me. It's just different for everyone. So the real thing is to just try all these tricks. Figure it out, figure it out for yourself and learn what feels comfortable for you. Someone that is good at front side 180s and switch back side 180s, a front blunt's gonna be much easier for them for the same reasons I said, but just reversed. You know, so just depends what your body feels natural doing. And uh, yeah, obviously mine feels more natural turning backside. All right, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below what trick is easier for you switch than regular. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.